Anthony coming back and winning that match, obviously, but these two have history. Fernie Silva in the all red single, Ash Nault in the red and gray. And Ash Nault wearing the green ankle band. Silva in the red. Ash Nault looking to become the first ever NCAA champion for Rutgers. Of course, Nick Siriano hoping to beat him to the punch. Either of them get it done. And a whip over right to his back. He's just going to pick up two. That's four freestyle. Two points on the board as it is. For Ashnall, he's got a bar on the left side. And he couldn't throw a half on the right. Sneaks it through. Now he's trying to reinforce that bar. Not sure what to do with the right hand. And he does sink a half in. And he's going to run it the opposite way. Silva sits up. And it looked like he was going to get a reversal. Caught the leg. Ashnall kicks out of it. Only gives up the escape, and it's Silva right back in on the leg. Ashnault attacks his leg defensively. A little bit of a scramble here. Ashnault locked in the cross, tipped over the top. Draping now over the top, catches both ankles. Needs to kept, keeps his head, left hand on the far one, which he still has. That far ankle, so important in that scramble. Now looking for a low leg cradle of his own, and Ashnault's going to lock it up. He's got two. They're getting dizzy looking at this. How many times are they gonna go around in circles? Ashnall's gonna put him on his back. We're inbounds. I don't know if it's a two count yet. Ashnall and he doesn't. He has that cradle locked up for ages. It's spun around like a top. But no back points awarded. Didn't freeze the back, exposing it to the mat for at least two seconds. So just 4-1, a pair of takedowns for Ashnall. <laughs> really pretty entertaining match for just being 90 seconds in. Two takedowns for Ash now. Threw his opponent to his back. Almost, he almost gave up a takedown, but gave up his leg and had to scramble to fight for it. As it is, he's on top, 49 and climbing in the riding time department. Big lift and return. He's going to plant him on the mat. Just go right into a tilt. Ashnall, better be careful. He's got two locked up. Almost rolled up onto his own back. Had those two, they get 6-1. A minute to go in the period. Riding time up at 112. Ashnall's going to take him out of bounds. And we're going to stop, go back to the center. No change. 52 seconds to go in the first. Here at your 2019 Big Ten Championships. Short time in the first period over at Matt Four. Periodic Purdue leading Barone 2 1. Silva to his feet. Ashnault's going to take it back to the mat. Flat on his belly now. 42 left in the first. I'll tell you, this event, this Big Ten Championships, is something to experience. I mean, you, you know. Minnesota's got a big crowd when they win. But you know, you hear these little pockets all over this arena. When their guy wins, man, they are ecstatic. Really, really cool atmosphere. And really, really good wrestling as they go over the edge and out of bounds. 13 to go on the clock on the restart. Seven seconds of riding time. That's quite a bit. Ashnall wins the toss. He's going to defer. Silva chooses bottom. 6-1. Ashnault leads two minutes on the clock. Start of the second period. 207 riding time in his favor. Of course, that's going to continue to climb. As soon as we get a whistle. Caution. Ashnall will try to get started on the second period on Matt two. Spiral ride now it's going to be. Well, he's out to the state. 
Joe Silva make it 6 2. Riding time stops at 220. 220, 221, whatever it takes. Midway through the second period overall, man. Collar inside tie for Ashton. Kind of a misdirection goes right, comes back left. Does Silva can't get a hold of the leg. Ashton defense looks for a drag, not there. We back out. Open space. Silva throws him by, catches the foot. so far here in the second. One time stoppage on that three. Get Tommy Farm. Let's stop that leg. Let's start here again. It's nine one four. Start the third period now we're on that four. Not at two to carry out we're on. And now we see Silva takes the shot low on the ankle. He's in on the leg. Far side Ashnell tries to Locked across the opposite way, and he's locked around the chest this time, I believe. Now he's just got a good heavy sprawl. Hands aren't locked. Under 10 seconds to go in the period. He's going to fight this one off. And hold that 6-2 lead into the third period. Anthony's choice, and I believe he's going to go under. Indeed, that's the case. Seconds. 7-2. You know, something National talked about earlier in the year was uh, not shutting down, not getting that lead, and you know, taking his foot off the gas to see if he continues to attack here. And in the third period, a uh, uh, very comfortable 7-2 lead. Writing time not locked up, and you got to see if he's going to get that. 8-2 on the clock uh, with the writing time. And you see Silva continue to attack. He has it deep, has the leg sunk. I believe he's gonna take him over for some back points. Let's see if he can get it. Just a one count, and now he's got two. Making a full four count, and he's got that foot. Ouch, ouch, that's strong. Crunching that back up now. He relaxes just a little bit. Could he go low leg cradle and get that locked up? It's over. He's got his arms sunk through the Turk situation now. Got that leg bent up. He's going back to work. 13 to 2, just like that. Four points on the board. If he can get another four count, that would give him the tech fall. Oh my gosh, careful to go. And again, Ashnell spent a fraction of a second flat on his back. Trying to pick up the final back one here. I don't think he's going to get it. 3, 2, 1, but the. Uh, Riding time points gonna make it 14 to two. Major decision, Anthony Ashton on the Rutgers. Didn't let his foot off the gas, poured it on there in the third, and will advance here at the Big Ten Championship. Our second sub victory overtime match of the tournament so far. Here we are, our own tie at four. All right, we're gonna move to 149 pounds. Oh, buddy, here we go. You got a little bit of slick versus a little bit of grit right here. Malik Amin, no shortage of fight and intensity in this guy's wrestling style. And then you got Schnalti, B-Mobbin, Anthony Ashnall, your one seed, 
who has had an amazing season this year. Silencing some of the doubters in some key matchups. Right when I say that, Malikan on a lead leg single. A little back trip there. High leg over for Ashnaw. We got ourselves a little bit of a scramble. Malik with height. Ashnaw with the far ankle. He needs to keep that far ankle in his left hand as long as he can. And we're going to get a fresh start with 45 seconds burned off the clock. Rutgers program in a huge resurgence under Goodell. Britsloff. And Leonardis, those guys have been doing an amazing job. Malik with a little shot fake. Ashnaw, lefty underhook here on the edge. Slow stalk here for Ashnaw. I believe Ashnaw got a got a either first or second period pin in his first match. Actually, ended up 14-2. Appreciate everybody tuning in to the 2019 Big Ten Wrestling Championships. Overhook position on the edge, and we're gonna get a fresh start. Like I said, Malik's one of those guys. You can get rolling on him and, and frustrate him a little bit, but man, you gotta you gotta stop the bear from charging on you early on. And again, outside shot from Malik. He's getting both feet on the mat. He's got, he's got Ashnaught's feet in the air. It's a good look and a scramble. Probably going to end up in another stalemate position as Ashnaught has that far ankle, and it's real tough for Malik to turn in and score. And if you let go of the leg to turn in and score, you lose position there. Five seconds left in the first period, and if you're Amin, you got to feel like it's gone pretty well. Ashnaw being a pretty... Pretty quick product on his feet as far as scoring early on in matches. Looking lead leg sweep. Anchored to it outside. Now he's trying to score. He's got to... I feel like he's got to get his head across and cut it back to a hip. It looks like he's going to run out of time here. 12 seconds left in the period. And our 15th stalemate of the first period. 10 seconds left. And first period burns away. Malik wins the toss but defers. I'm a big choose whatever best position for me if it's 0-0, zero, zero, but. It's going to be a caution on Ashnaw. I mean with the quick mount. As soon as Ashnaw got set, I mean was there and now he got blood. And Bournemouth and Shirell are fired up over there. You, you kind of got to be. 0-0 zero, zero, first period against one of the best guys in the country, regardless of weight. Like I said, Ashnaught has been on an absolute tear this season. Some big wins over some major competition. And not just wins. Talk about putting up big points on the board over, over top five guys in the country. I mean, looking, kind of pull back crab there, and he thought they were out of bounds, and he let go. That's crucial there. Feel like I mean could have got a leg, could have got a good ride going on there, and right when I'm talking about the ride, Ashnaw backside pick cuts it back to the front side, made it look easy. Looks like he's got a bar working here on the right side, maybe a boot on the left side. Oh, 
Not a lot going on here for Ashnaught. I mean, with the classic, don't reach back from bottom. And Ashnaught encourages him to let go with a, a nice little cross face. A little bit of a parallel ride here for Ashnaught. You wonder if the ref's going to pop one or the other here. Near is. Looks like he's trying to sink a claw in to the right side. Maybe a little near wrist claw tilt. And he's got the he's got the knee posted on the elbow. Malik up to his feet. And a, a, a an odd kind of dive there. It's like he tried to drop and hook a hook a leg was I mean. And we're going to get a fresh start back center. Ashnault's threatened once or twice on top of some pretty solid positions, but it hadn't quite pulled the trigger. One second left in the period. 3-0 lead for your one seed, Ashnault. And it's going to be Amin's choice going into the third period. And I'll tell you, man, escaping a takedown is not out of the, out of the realm of possibility for Amin. Coach Pritzloff calling for Ashnaugh to get to that wrist. I mean, up and out. Ashnaugh drops to a single move. Malik turns in. And let's see what happens here. Neutral in the last minute and 40 seconds of the period. Another one and eight seed going at it. Can another eight seed get it done? And a re-drag off the single Ashnaught shot. For Amin. Seems like Amin's starting to figure some things out here off of Ashnaught's attacks. And right when I say that, Ashnaught with a slick cross double there. Almost a sweep double. Minute left in the period, 5-1 lead for Ashnaugh. Minute and 50 seconds of riding time for your Rutgers wrestler. I believe a sixth year. A lot of people didn't know if Ashnaugh was gonna come back and wrestle that final year or not. And Amin turns and faces, weird spot for the knee. And he's looking for, his, looking for a reversal here. Escape's not going to help him out too much. This is a position that Spencer Lee got pinned in by Piccinini in the Oklahoma State Iowa duel. Trying to work the splits here. And they gave him a quick two. I don't know how that was two. Never really had control of the hips. Casey Cunningham just grabbed my arm and it almost broke in half. And the second 24 seconds left in the period. And I mean, can't erase riding time. And it's pretty much at a three point deficit right now. So all he's got is a turn. Maybe see him work out to the front, look for a mixer, something of that nature. But he's working near side wrist. Maybe going to cast across for a far side cradle. Ashnaw gets popped for stalling. Not going to help I mean out. And your one seed is going to move on with a 6-3 and here we go 149 pounds Ashnaugh putting the hands on him before it was time to go hometown boy Tommy Thorne born and raised Minnesota from the long line of Thorne family savages and Anthony Ashnaw, your number one guy in the bracket and arguably in the country at 149 pounds. Slide by attempt for Ashnaw. 
Looked like he wanted to drop to a low single there off the square at Thorne. Doesn't get it. And Thorne, little switch foot. Head outside attack to Ashnault's left leg. Minute burned off the clock. Both guys with a pretty significant attack. Neither converted. Appreciate everybody tuning in. 2019 Big Ten Wrestling Championships. Live here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And Thorne with a clean single to the right side of Ashnault this time. Couldn't convert. Ashnault's so good with those little kickouts. Ashnault looking, looking to attack off that overtie again. Minute 21 left in the period. Thorne over Enriquez and Martin. Ashnall had 14-2 over Silva and 6-3 over Amin. Ashnall dropping in. Low level attack, cuts it back across. That's gonna be 2-0 Ashnall. 57 seconds left in the period. Your 149 pound Big 10 semi-final. Ashnault, no slouch on top. Great shot here for Thorne. Up to his feet, let's see if he converts. Closed wizard for Ashnaw. Thorne's got to get that weight off his grip. He shifts outside elbow deep, but you don't want to let that foot to the mat. A lot of horsepower here being used up for Thorne. Nine seconds left. And Ashnaw doing a great job of attacking the hands and putting a lot of weight on that grip. Unfortunately for Thorne, he's not going to finish that shot. 2-1 is how we enter the second period. It looks like we actually have some fireworks over there on mat three for the second go round of DeSanto and Suriano. Ashnaw, great job with that. A lot of guys just chop and go one knee up the spine. He'll run both feet behind, get a ton of pressure forward, then start scooping wrists. Dorn outside leg stand up, trying to back pressure up to his feet. Easier said than done. He's got hand control. And a little back trip, one handed back trip there for Ashnault. He's got that leg trapped up. If he could go figure four, doesn't get it. Minute 23 seconds left in the period. Just clicked over a minute of riding time for Ashnault. Still hanging on to that slim 2-1 lead. <laughs> Tough ride here for Ashnaw. Up to a minute 30 of riding time. Thorne trying to figure it out on bottom. Ashnault threatened near side wrist. Then gives him a little stiff cross face. Looks like the wind's coming out of Thorne's sails here a little bit towards the end of the second period. Double boots come in for Ashnault. Stalemate is the call. I'm not going to argue with that. Goodell's asking what 
part of a stalemate with double boots as they're trying to turn. Short time left in the period. And you've seen Ashnall fade a little bit in some matches, but really the only one that I think was significant was uh, Vegas Finals against Jordan. Still won the match, but you saw Goodell say, you keep wrestling once his, once his athlete to finish strong, and by no means is thrown out of this. 2-1 for Ashnall. And he's put up some big points on some major competition this year. Majored Kolodzik. And he's he hasn't quite hasn't quite had those margins this tournament. 6-3 over Amin, which is a tough guy to put a lot of points up on. 14-2 in his first round over Silva of Indiana. And here he is on a big flare double. And that's what Goodell wanted him to do. Keep on wrestling, keep scoring points. A lot of good things happen when you're scoring points on your feet. Starts opening up that top game as well. And it looks like we're about to get a side headlock turn here for Ashnall. He's stretching him out. I don't know how that's not near fall. Need a protractor over there possibly. Ashnall doesn't get it. Now he looked like he was trying to run up bow and arrow, maybe. Three minutes of riding time for Ashnall. Thorn head on the mat, not a good look. Ashnall has that leg. He had it trapped, I can't tell if he does anymore from this camera angle. Yep, he's got it trapped. Usually you trap the leg and throw the leg in on the side. And it looked like McKee bombs somebody in the background and Eggum spikes the challenge brick. And that's gonna be how it finishes. Anthony Ashnall, your one seed. Moving on to the finals with a 5-1 win. Well, now we're gonna go to Ohio State and Rutgers. Somebody's gonna get their second Big Ten championship for their program, 149, Micah Jordan in the finals again, but has not won one yet. He's a senior, another senior, Anthony Ashnall, going for his third Big Ten title. Never has that happened in Rutgers history. They've never had a national champion. Will it be Suriano? Will it be Ashnall? Well, this young man, Anthony Ashnall, boy, he's special. The trajectory, Jim, in the last couple of years of what he's gone from to where he is today is impressive. You know, it really is. I mean, you, here he is. You see his path, okay, six to three over a mean, which would be tough. Tommy Thorne had a good tournament, five to one win over Tommy. But hey, I've been impressed with the way Jordan's come out there. He's been out there to put up some points. And if you recall last time that these two wrestled, Ashnall got out to a 10-0 lead, all right? And then you mentioned there were 24. 14 to 10. Yeah, 14 to 10. So there was a big comeback by Jordan. But you mentioned Anthony Ashnall's improvement. You know, when he came out of a high school, really tough in the top position, four-time state champion from New Jersey. You know, really the, the, the statewide hope and going to Rutgers, the in-state school, and be a great story if he could go ahead and finish his career out here with a couple of titles. But Micah Jordan has been up to the task as well, been improving, and probably is sitting in a great position here to really, this could be a rematch of, uh, the, of, the, of the finals, basically, or, or see this in the finals here in another week and a half. Well, that's why they're both at this weight. Micah Jordan down from 157 really feels like he can win it at 149. That's why he came there. He prepared for it for an entire year. Anthony Ashnall feeling that 149 allows him to be at his best, and he was hurt in the entire last year, out with injury, got his sixth year, and he's a graduate senior wrestling with a lot of gratitude for the opportunity to win that first title for Rutgers. He was the first four-timer ever in New Jersey high school history. Now he'd like to be the first national champion, already the only three-time All-American in Rutgers history. Anthony Ashnall with the red bands, Rutgers. Micah Jordan, his brother Bo in the corner as an assistant coach now. Four-time All-American. 
Rocky, his younger brother, a freshman redshirting this year. So one more Jordan to come for the Buckeyes. And Tim, when you go out there and put up 10 points on Anderson on a wrestler as good as Micah Jordan, you know that that's not going to happen automatically again. And, you know, and way he did that, he was able to go out there and get a takedown right away and go right into a tilt. You know, a couple tilts and a takedown, and there were his 10 points, and he was pretty much holding on at that point. So Jordan slowing it down, getting to his shot right away. Neutral. Able to come out the back door, all right? Neutral. Pretty good at finishing. Neutral. Right there, he's got Neutral. the head up underneath the knee, but now Ashnall improving his position here, and he'll go ahead and try to stack Neutral. Jordan up. Jordan understands that. He's trying to get his hand, his Neutral. left hand and his elbow posted, get a little elevation himself. Neutral. A lot of work down there by Jordan. He'll end up with a stalemate. Come back to the center. No action there. A minute three. three no period, points three. yet in this Line. first period at 149 pounds. A rematch from the Cliff Keene invitation in early December. Jim already talked about it. Ashnault went out to a big lead. And a major comeback in the third period. And by, it was, uh, Jordan fell a little short. Yeah, and, and so you can already see that Ashnault hasn't really Long got center, to his gentlemen. shot yet. And that's you know, re really important, but that's probably where Anthony Ashnall's uh, improvement has been over his time at Rutgers, is getting to the legs, being finishing, and, and actually being poised in matches, and, and but constantly moving and, and not getting pushed around out there at, at all. See our flow rankings, flow wrestling, our partners in national rankings, and there they were, number one and two at 149, right here in the Big Ten Finals. Yeah, so if you're Micah Jordan, you're going, well, it's, it's 10 points better than it was the last time. <laughs> Ashnall, a two-time NCAA semifinalist, a two-time Big Ten champion, has not been to the finals yet. Suriano last year, the 133, now Big Ten champion, was a finalist last year, and that's the highest finish in program history for Rutgers. So Ashnall will default. Will give uh, period, no um, Jordan, Jordan uh, the choice, and he chooses neutral. Yep, good choice by him because he's had difficulty getting away, and so if you do that, you're going to have to get on your offense right away. And Jordan already with a shot. He really needs to pick it up. So he's gone from a 24-point match to just a very tactical, calculated experience here by both guys. In our fourth weight class, where we've seen both Ohio State and Rutgers win a championship. If you're a Penn State fan, you're going, we're in the lead, and we haven't seen Penn State yet. Your time is coming. Next weight class, six in a row. Penn State from 157 to heavyweight will have a representative and an opportunity to win a Big Ten championship. They have clinched the Big Ten title. But Ohio State comfortably in second place. Tom Ryan continues the great foundation he has set there and good showings at the Big Ten Championships. Jordan in on another shot here, but Ashnall getting his hips back, doing good enough work there by burying his hips, shoelaces flat. All right, there's a stall warning. That's a good pace that you want to keep up there if you're Jordan. And remember, you're, you're one point behind in this match because Got to assume that, that Ashnall's going to be able to get up unless you can go ahead and ride him for a minute, which yeah. is probably going to be the strategy in the third period. Well, and a good point, start off Jim, with. because if you're not going to get a takedown, it's nice to get a stall warning. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. there's a little reshot there, and uh, Jordan gets out of position. Ashnall takes advantage and scores two points with 25 seconds left in the period. Beautiful footwork there by uh, Ashnall. They're measuring Jordan's shot. And this is why he can go all the way in this tournament because he's got the ability to finish out the period in the top position. No question about it. 1, 000, 2, 000. And that's the end of the second period. They'll go to the center. Take a look at that. This was a shot that really wasn't all that well set up, right? Measured, drop the hips, immediately get the footwork going here, and bull rush the man over when you get the angle. There's Scott Goodale right there. Done a great job at uh, Rutgers to the right there. Head down on, can we get this third one? Can we make a statement? And he's making a statement in how he has packed the rack. Over 5,000 fans every time they have a dual meet and uh, just really doing a great job there. 
and they have a new facility they are hoping to get in in the summer at Rutgers improving their facilities and uh, pretty much put a fence around New Jersey as far as getting their best and trying to vie for that uh, national prominence. Come to Rutgers to win a national title. But they got to get their first one, Jim. Good work there by Jordan. Now he's able to look him over. He's going to have to go ahead and probably cut him at this point. Going to drive him off. Nice job by Micah Jordan. And that was created by the activity, Tim. Good in and out ac activity here. All right, able to go a left-handed whip over off that shot. Again, both guys have kind of measured each other's shots and able to counter them, counter each All other. Right. There's Bo Jordan, the four-time All-American brother, graduated last year, now on the staff. If the two-time All-American, Micah Jordan's going to get her done, he's going to get her done with on his feet again from St. Paris Graham High School. Micah Jordan trying to be a Big Ten champion for the first time. And keep drops right back in. That was a situation where Ashnaught was heading for the ankle pick and he drove with his level over and you know kind of just came into him on the double leg there. You can see that Ashnaught started this right there on the ankle pick. He anticipated it and drove right through it. And we're tied up. Tied up, no riding time. One minute left in regulation. And oh, oh. Wow. Oh, dude, that's not what that oh. Jordan hoping he can get away from that. Is that a reversal? Here. That's yeah. a reversal. It's not one and two because nice job by Jordan with the switch. So he's back to the original position, but he burned a little clock there. Now in and out, back on the shot. Pretty good shape right there. Ashnell burying his hips, laces flat, comes back in on the leg. All right. He's got the leg hooked. If he can pop his head out. Cut across. Well, Ashnault has a cradle. He's and got he the points. The two. 20 seconds left. Ashnault comes out on top after a reversal. Then an escape by Micah Jordan and a takedown by Ashnault to seal the deal. Both these guys tough. Wow, great well, battle. If you're going to win championships, you've got to keep wrestling through the seven minutes and take the scoring opportunities that are presented right there. That's exactly what Ashnault did. He didn't think about where he was on the mat, he thought about he was in the middle and had a scoring opportunity and locked up that cradle. And there's one escape. And time runs out, and Anthony Ashnault makes history three-time Big Ten champion, first in program history. And it was not done without a fight from Micah Jordan. Great man. And like you said, Jim, we're going to see this match again quite likely. Anthony Ashnault. Your winner at 149 pounds. And there's his dad. He's happy. Boy, there were some really things that were well done here. There's the escape, the actually reversal that Ashnault was able to go ahead and get to. Jordan fighting heavily. Right there, and that two points there. And here's the cradle he locked up. He's behind the leg. Kind of caught Jordan uh, diving in there instead of really kind of going to the edge of the mat and going off the mat. And there's our coach Goodale. Coach Donnie Prizloff and a happy dad. And a relieved dad. And let's go to Shane, who's with Anthony. All right, Anthony, three-time Big Ten champion. What makes this title unique? Uh, I got to do it with a teammate that did it at 133. Um, first time that happened for Rutgers, two-time champs. Jordan's a great opponent. I mean, I had to wrestle a really good match to get that W. I'm excited, but the goal is to be a national champ. You wear that R with so much pride. You are the face of the program. You'll try to become the first ever national champion. Speak about the responsibility that comes with being the face of a program. Uh, eyes are always on you, you know. When you think no one's watching, that's when you got to be doing things a little bit better. And uh, I think it added up over my career, just doing extra stuff here and there. And, uh, extra work and got to, got me to this point. Congratulations, been fun watching you. Thank you.